Hi, I'm Paul Floyd, a military analyst here at Stratfor, and today I'm joined by Rebecca Keller, our science and technology analyst. And on April 14th, we had a SpaceX private launch of a rocket into space. And we're going to discuss the implications of this private company pursuing launch capabilities into space and what's the objective and what it means for future use of space by states around the world. So Becca, what is the implications of yesterday's test? So yesterday's launch had two components to it. The first was the more routine um, where they were sending a payload to the International Space Station. And they've done that you know, several times before. The, the key test from yesterday was they attempted to land the first stage of their Falcon 9 rocket on a floating platform so it could eventually be reused in the future. Uh, the implications of that being uh, cheaper launch costs. When you can reuse parts of the, the launch system, it'll be cheaper in the, in the future. Um, unfortunately, yesterday they didn't quite succeed, but they came a lot closer than they have ever before. Okay, so so as we are basically able to recycle parts, that should bring costs down. And I would also assume that using a private company, um, there's you know right now it's kind of government backed and funded and supported in many ways. But is there a, a future idea that other companies would be doing this and create some kind of competition? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Right now, um, SpaceX and other companies are backed um, by NASA to achieve uh, this reusable launch capability, as well as um, returning the United States to be, being able to um, have manned missions and, uh, and manned launches as well. Um, but yes, the eventual idea is if you can support um, a small number, even uh, companies to compete against each other, that competition um, and that not necessarily free market, but close to free market will bring costs down. And looking forward, what does cheaper costs for access to space mean? So cheaper costs are essential. Um, space is becoming more and more important to our on-the-ground technology, um, communications, GPS. And um, as you well know, there are several military applications to improving and lowering our costs into getting stuff into space. And if you want to talk about that, that'd be great. Right. Well, the, the military implications, you know, right now that really applies mostly to the U.S. And I say that because the U.S. military far and away at, at this moment because of its global footprint is the most reliant on space to basically enable and enhance and facilitate everything that it does. Um, for, for from communications, command and control, all of these things the U.S. is hugely reliant on. Um, other countries are in some ways also reliant on, on, on space for their militaries, but the, the U.S. is by far the most dependent. So in that sense, you know, as this U.S. military reliance on space increases, anything that brings those costs down, as we know, with a, you know, there's already a huge military budget in place for the U.S. compared to the rest of the world, um, anything that can keep costs down, especially as we're focused more and more on space, um, will be advantageous for the U.S. and its use of resources up there. Comparatively, that, that bringing costs down also opens the door to space being becoming more and more crowded. It's no longer just the race between the United States and, and the former Soviet Union or Russia. It's, you know, China's in the game now. Japan has increasing capabilities, especially in defensive um, space technology. So I, absolutely, space is becoming more and more important from the military aspect, as you said, and also from a commercial aspect. And that's an interesting implication to talk about, actually, is as, you know, cheaper costs will translate to the rest of the world. So it actually helps other countries kind of get that footprint in space to help with their militaries uh, as well. OK, Becca, well, uh, thank you. It's very interesting. And, uh, you know, as, as this technology progresses, we'll continue to address it. And to look into this or other similar issues, please visit stratfor.com.